What's up guys? Welcome back. This is Josh with Florida Spearfishing Channel. Um, this was about a week ago. Um, we went ran out about, about 70 miles. We're pretty close to the middle grounds in the Gulf. Um, I had a couple first little couple of pictures there of the day going out. Um, got a nice, got to see a nice leather back, which was pretty awesome. Um, we did shoot a six man snapper limit while we were out there. We were diving about 92 feet. Um, we we're all free diving. Um, we had about six, we had six guys on the boat. We came, but my GoPro was giving me issues on my gun mount while we were out there. So I had to wait till we got in further to kind of mess with it to get it on the gun. Um, this, these two clips that I, or videos that I have here were, and we're, this was like the third third or fourth spot of the day we moved into about 40 feet um did a dive didn't really see too much life so i was like let me come back up let me get a good breath so i can go find a different spot see if there's more life down there um come back up do a second dive drop down feeling pretty good about this one as I'm getting closer to the bottom, I can kind of see a little more life moving around. Kind of see some stuff going on. <laughs> this gun I'm shooting is the MVD Inverted Roller. Um, it's actually probably one of the best guns I have. I've been very impressed with so far. Um, kind of looking around for some some decent fit, decent sized fish. We're actually looking at gags for this point point in time we weren't really seeing too much on this spot but i happen to see a decent mangrove so i just had to shoot him this was a kind of a little difficult dive because the mangrove came off came through the shaft took the line through the rock wrapped me all around the rock so left it all down there come up to the top open the reel up once I get to the top, kind of look down, trying to realize, trying to see what's kind of going on down there. Um, finally, I didn't really get a dive back down to this. Kind of wish I did. Um, I had Oliver as my safety. He goes down, puts a second shot in the fish. I go down at the same time, cut the line so that would bring up both my gun and everything all at the same time, plus the fish, which is pretty awesome. Uh, we had a pretty good team this day. This is like the last spot of the day. We're in like 14 feet or about 16 feet really. Um, see a small gag there. Not really kind of paying attention to him. Look to my left a little bit and this one kind of take off. Whoop. Nice big gag. Takes off. I shoot to the top. As I'm shooting to the top, I look down and there's about a about. 300 pound goliath trying to eat my gag so i'm yanking on the line as fast as i can to bring it up uh, takes me a good good minute to get him up because i was kind of panicking there for a second i thought he was about to swallow him get him up and then you'll see the gag there kind of Trying to get my hand in his gills so I can get a good dispatch on him. Get him back to the boat. Didn't shoot no meat. Right to the gill plates. Good shot. Wasn't coming off. This is a this is a pretty cool pretty cool day between all of us. We actually went out of Fernando Beach, um, ran out pretty far, and then kind of probably hit about six or seven spots on the way back in. Go ahead, dispatch that gag. Makes it really good for the meat later. Bring him to the boat. Put him in the boat. So this this last spot that it was pretty pretty murky, um, in my opinion. Wasn't I've seen worse and I've dealt with worse, but this just got a little bit half and half. Um, you can see shadows and stuff, but you really couldn't tell exactly what they are. So you'll see in the video like um in the one right side like you'll see a gag dart off or you'll see like on the back side of a rock a gag move and i d didn't see it at the time because all i'm seeing is shadows i can't really gauge the fish it's kind of tough um well i'll let y'all kind of i'll chime out and kind of let y'all enjoy the video and see what you think Thank <laughs> you. 
What's up, guys? I'm back. Um, I decided I'd jump back in just to kind of walk through this clip for a minute here. So I can kind of see some shadows down there moving around. Um, but I really couldn't tell exactly what they are. You'll see me drop here. As I'm going out, I see that gag dart off, but there's no way I can take a shot on him. He's too far gone. He's already spooked. Um, turn around, kind of look, trying to look under the ledges. I really should have had a light on me because it was so so murky and made everything so dark. Um, so I started swimming over to the towards this arch that I know that's over here. Look over this rock. Didn't see really anything sitting in there. Um, so I was like, let me peek over this. I saw that fish dart through there, but I questioned the shot because I didn't know if it was a big enough gag or not. Um, come back up. It's really kind of hard to gauge a fish when it's murky, um, especially when you're in shallower water too because they'll look bigger than what they really are. <laughs> um, but just kind of wanted to talk that video. If you, there's, I know there's some people probably out there that dive in murky water, and sometimes it's not fun. <laughs> so clear water is always better, but... All right, I'll jump out and hope you all enjoy. Thank <laughs> you. 